Hey y'all, welcome back to Dots and Beyond. My name is Beth. Today we are going to do my Archer and Olive Halloween unboxing. I wasn't planning to do this, but we're going to peek at it. Let's go ahead and get started. This is my Archer and Olive Halloween box. All I have done is cut it open. And I opened the box and I thought, I think we need to do an unboxing. This has been less than a week from the time that I am filming this. I am filming this on Thursday the 21st. Whether I get this up tonight or not is, you know, to be determined. I ordered this last Friday during the Halloween launch. I was ridiculously excited that it shipped as quickly as it did and that it is already here less than a week that I ordered it. To be fair, I do live in the U.S probably pretty close to distribution centers and all of that kind of stuff. Y'all, I haven't even done my nails. Look, you're gonna get to see me without my fingernails done because I just thought, we, we need to look at this. We need to look at this Halloween box. We're gonna open this up and then I'll pull everything out and get rid of this cardboard box. This is how things came. On this side, I have the additional journals that I ordered. I know the ring light is reflecting on that. And then this is the Halloween box for 2023. It is small, but mighty. So we are going to look at the journals first, and then we're going to go ahead and look at this box. Let me get this out of the way. Here we have all three of the Halloween journals that did not come in the subscription box. There's one in there as well. The only clue as to which one is which is this little icon on the side of the box so that tells you the three that we have there. I'm going to get this plastic off and then we're going to look at these. The first one that we are going to look at is the one that has the books and the skull. I have to tell you, uh, if you saw any of my promotional affiliate code things that I put together, this is the one that I was not expecting and completely took me by surprise and I had to have it. So those of you who have been around for a little bit, you might remember that my actual degree, even though I'm an event manager, my degree is in English literature. And when I saw this, I was like, it's Hamlet. It is alas poor Yorick and I must have it. Fun fact, Hamlet is my favorite Shakespeare play when we were all hunkered down for the pandemic, right? The, the beginning when everyone was isolating and you couldn't go anywhere. I was immersing my in English literature and I literally watched every film version of Hamlet that was out there plus two stage versions that had been recorded as well. So I watched like seven versions of Hamlet in like three weeks. My kids thought I was nuts. I mean, they weren't living with me at the time. They were like, mom. Mom, you have to stop. I had to have this. It's 192 pages. It is Yorick. Um, he is named already. <laughs> and this one is definitively for me. This this is my journal. Y'all know my son Kenny. His bullet journal for this year was from the Halloween box of last year. One of these journals is also for him. Don't know which one it's going to be yet though. So we'll have to see. It was just an excuse to buy them all um, while he makes a decision. I know which one he's leaning towards, but I'm not going to tell you all. That would be spoilers. We'll have to wait until he firmly makes a decision and we reveal 2024 lineup things. But the other one is the potion bottle with the thorns wrapped around it. It's so Halloween, so aesthetic. Um, and just in case y'all were wondering, again, this is 192 and it is white paper, white dot grid. I have only purchased one standalone Archer and Olive journal, I think, this year? Question <laughs> mark. I got one journal from the fall collection. It's a secret. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I did get the September subscription box, the library one. I didn't do an unboxing because I just wanted to keep it all to myself. My mother was a librarian y'all and that box is perfection it is the best subscription box for the quarter that our journal of has done yet and i was getting close to just canceling and maybe subscribing to other things not that i don't love our journal of i do 
I just typically don't use all of the other sort of tchotchke things that come in the subscription box. It's really what that is about and I felt like I wasn't using them to their full potential so I needed to stop getting it. And then we had the reveal for the vintage library and again that box is just perfection. So other than that I really have been saving my pennies waiting for the Halloween <laughs> drop because this is the one that I love the most every single year. So the second one we got was the potion bottle might be Kenny's journal for 2024. You'll have to stay tuned. And then of course we have the one that sold out I believe within an hour. So if you didn't pick it up in the pre-order that ended yesterday or managed to get it in the first round then I'm sorry. I know there was a lot of chitty chat um, on some of the forums and Facebook and whatnot about Archer and Olive not being prepared. It really made me sad to hear all of that because you, know, you really don't know what it takes to run a small business and what you can afford to plan for or not plan for in order to meet your customer base. And I think they did the best that they could. And yes, things sold out quickly because they've been listening to us and they're learning more and more what we want out of each holiday release, seasonal release, quarterly boxes, and there was just way more demand for this than they could have anticipated. So here is the other journal, which just looks like a grimoire. <laughs> it is. It. I did get the white one. So again, if you're new here, I don't like to work on blackout paper. I love to look at everyone else's spreads on blackout paper, but I don't want to do them in mine. So I did get the white. It does have the deckled edges, or you don't know what that word means, the, the torn edges. It's beautiful. It is divine. It might also be my son's journal for 2024. We're all gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> he couldn't make up his mind. Oh, it's one of the reasons we have them all. I had to have Hamlet. He really couldn't make up his mind. So we just, we got them all. Um, and we will use them. The question is where? All right, get that back in there and let's look at that Halloween box. Okay, here we go. Here is my Halloween box. It is probably half the size of last year's, which is okay, because like I said, she's small, but she mighty. Mine did get a little bit dinged up on its trip here, despite the packaging in the box to keep it safe. You know, it happens in the mail. We are going to just open it up and look at what we have inside. We're going to deal with some ring light issues. But we have the calligraphy set, the decorative tape, the collage paper, stickers and of course the journal let's look at these other things first we're gonna look at sticker sheets first i'll be honest this will probably be the last thing that i use out of this box stickers are not something that i use terribly often i will have to find a place for them but i do love these moths i think they are beautiful they do have the black outline on them, so they'll be a little bit more outstanding on the blackout paper, but that is a-okay. And there's two sheets of the moths. They do glow in the dark. We're not going to demonstrate that at the moment, but they do glow in the dark as well. In last year's Halloween box, we got the vellums. And in this Halloween box, we are getting the collage papers. And these vintage frames are stunning and they're so fantastic. We'll probably see these pop up in my reading journal setup for 2024 because that's where I think I'm going to use them. And then we have two of this sheet that's got the bat wing and some keys and a moth. The script, very cool for scrapbook journaling. We have two sheets of the keys and the locks. I love old keys. Just love them. So I was thrilled to see these in there as well. 
and then we have like a wallpapery deep red toile pattern that is beautiful as well. That said, these might pop up in my reading journal that I might see some of that stuff or use some of that. Hey, washi tape time. Decorative tape. This time around, the washi tape is all of the same size. Sometimes we do get a thinner one or not. This one has got the same key pattern on it. It's really, really cool. And the lock, which of course goes with the haunted house theme. If you know what the journal looks like. We have some spiders. Shelob must die. Like <laughs> a not a spider fan. And then this script one that has the eye on it, which I'm gonna have to keep hidden from Kenny or he's gonna want me to put it on everything in his journal. And then we also have the moth one to match our stickers. And again, much of these are also glow in the dark as well. And that is the decorative tape or washi tape for this Halloween box. Okay, I was already pretty much sold and in on the Halloween box with the few releases that had popped up. But once something popped up on Instagram that had the very edge of this dip pen in it, I was like, done. I have to absolutely have to have that. I'm not going to take this out of the box yet. Um, but here we have this gorgeous, let's see if you can see it up close, glass dip pen with some ink. This gorgeous, gorgeous green and gold on the inside. It's just ridiculously stunning. Stunning. I don't even know what to say about them putting this pen in the Halloween box and it shipping safely and not breaking. Super excited about this. I'm also super intimidated by dip pen. <laughs> Half one. You've probably never, I don't think I've ever used it on camera because it, I'm scared of it. Uh, but that is, is one of those things that I'm going to have to find a way to use this. It's just too stunning to just not use. I'm not just going to sit around and look at it. We're going to have to find a way to use it. But it is, it's exquisite. And the fact that they put something like this in the Halloween box, again, it's proof positive that they're starting to listen to some different things that people are asking for as far as usability and not just kind of useless tchotchkes in the box. So let me get that journal from the box out. Okay, and here we have these Halloween box exclusive journal. So you couldn't purchase it separately. It comes in this box with the keys on the side. Oh, I can't get it out. And then inside we have this stunning fantastical haunted house door with the keyhole. It is faux leather. The gilding is silver. The pages have silver edging on them. This gorgeous end paper with the silver. I do wish we'd use the keys in here instead of just the florals. Love the archer and all the florals, but would love to throw some of those keys in there like we have on the washi tape and the papers. And then we are white dot grid i do not know what i'm going to use this for but i think it is one of the most stunning journals that archer and olive has done i just love it i told kenny he couldn't have it <laughs> so, i told him if he wanted this one he was gonna have to fight me for it or he was gonna have to pay for a second box <laughs> that's just the way that that one came down He's eyeballing both of those other two. Like one of them might end up being 2024. And if he doesn't like anything from 2024, he might, you know, pick one of those to use in 2025. Because he likes them both and is trying to decide. But I just gasped when I saw this along with that dip pen. Those were the things that really drew my attention the most. All right, y'all, that is it. That is my Archer and Olive Halloween haul. You'll see because I got the box, I didn't order any additional washi tape or anything to go along with it. Just the three journals that they had on offer for this time around, as well as the Halloween box. Um, and like purchasing a concert ticket at 9 a.m. last Friday Central Time, I was hitting refresh. 
my browser. I also had an event to run that day and I was super thrilled I didn't have to be on site to run that event until after the launch of our turn all over. I would have missed it and I would have been filling out pre-orders if I had had to be on my event site at like 8 a.m. or something like that. I would have completely missed out on it, but I got a little bit lucky. So this is what we have picked up for use by myself as well as my son Kenny. If you got the Archer and Olive Halloween any item, let me know in the comments below what you picked up. Go ahead and give us a guess on which journal you think Kenny should use for 2024. You know, he's got the tarot journal from the Halloween box from last year. So let us know if he should use the moth or if he should use the potion bottle with the roses. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.